Gemini, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, love. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Readings are timeless. When you find the message or if the message finds you, there is something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. Gemini, I'm smelling some sorrow here. Hmm. Uh, guys, there's no uh, gender, no age, only energy, okay? I'm going to use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay that no mind. Feel the energy. This is like, um, I'm sorry, but... I don't know it's crazy i'm sorry but i have to create or make something new or put something together it's kind of like um not regretful but empathetic or sympathetic i want to say it like that sympathetic it's a sympathetic magician now you <laughs> <laughs> a sympathetic magician I have no idea but that's what it smells like the energy let's see if we can uh, put something down here this is the uh, dreams of Gaia we're going to put some energy down for Gemini please Gemini there we go eight of earth Earth energy is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with a two of water at the bottom of the deck. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, maybe it's a love connection or it's an emotional tie. I'm going to tell you that two of water can represent friends. It can represent family. Somebody that pours into you, you pour into them. Somebody that sees like you sees, want what you think wants, knows like you know, things like that. Um, it's a it's a great magnetic connection. OK, uh, and again, it's an emotional tie. It doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a friend, family member, uh, child and parent things like that um but it, it, i'm sorry but i have to create uh you know um the eight of earth is a uh, working energy it's a grounding energy uh energy of mastering your skill mastering uh mastering your um abilities it, it, mm, heavy creation is here uh, i'm really surprised i didn't get the page of wands um Heavy creation is here. Um, it's almost like you're in a creative state. It, you're in a state of of, of uh, putting things together. Like I said, mastering, working on whatever it is that you're doing. But it, for whatever reason, may have an effect on your relationship. Okay? But you have to do it. You know what I mean? Or an effect on that connection. This is like maybe you're... I don't know, maybe you're moving and, you know, you don't want to separate or you're being promoted or applying for a promotion, but you're going to be in a different location, you know, or you, you hmm, I ain't going to lie because we talking, um, maybe you're working on yourself and your partner or friend uh like somebody and they like you i ain't gonna lie mm -hmm. their their mate likes you your friend's mate likes you that kind of energy you know what i mean gemini don't fall into that toxic situation Center energy, please, for Gem Six of Pentacles. Um, again, Earth energy. We're talking about um, assistance. We're talking about um, uh, grounding, balance. Um, it, this is after the the, the 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 earthquake. You know, 
your nerves are still a little rattled. I ain't gonna lie, but the ground isn't moving anymore. You know what I mean? It's still having the, it's an energy of still having the remnants of like being when you, I don't know. Mm, when somebody spins you around, you ever spin a child around and you sit them down and they're a little dizzy for a second. It, it kind of feels like that and it shouldn't, but uh, there's a uh, divine assistance here. You know, he's uh, making everything right, making everything fair. Um, this shakeup had to happen, whatever the shakeup is, but it's causing you to really um, start manifesting. And I know eight of earth or eight of pentacles is not considered manifesting energy, but I'm telling you what I smell and what I feel. This is also being, um, being in a, a feeling of, um, not getting what you deserve, you know, um, feeling like you don't get what you deserve, feeling like you're getting, um, pieces of the dream instead of a slice of the pie. You know what I mean? Uh, crown the energy, please, for Gemini. We have a four of wands. Yeah, what's crowning you is perfect balance. Also celebratory energy. The four of wands can represent uh, engagements. It can represent commitment. It can represent moving in together in, as far as relationships, um, spiritually and internally, um, just a, a balance of uh, life. So we're looking at balance with the six of pentacles as well as this 1111, you know, seeing things for what they are and being okay with it, you know, at least this is, uh, after, oh, wow, that's a horrible example. Hold on. I got to get another one. Okay. Let's say it like this. After you've been taking care of somebody that may have been ill or elderly or something, they were terminal, you know, and it hurt to see them go. But now things are starting to balance out a little bit. You're starting to um, you had to find other things to do with your time because you were so devoted or dedicated to this family member, if that makes sense. But now things are starting to balance out. Okay. Now things are starting to balance. What's undermining Gemini? I know that was crazy. The Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now, Gemini, I really don't like to see your air energy uh, undermining you, but I don't think you're feeling yourself right now anyway. I ain't gonna lie. It, it's almost as if right now you're conforming to the surroundings. If you're, if you need to be in fire, you can be in fire. If you need to be in earth, you can be in earth. You right now are operating to me as a magician energy because you're just really trying to make the best of your situation, um, regardless to what it is, be it with work, be it with relationships, be it with love, whatever the case is. You're just really trying to make the best of it. Okay. Um, unfortunately though, that takes away from your true um, yeah, your true identity. I want to say it like that. Okay. Um, you may feel that you're holding back just to kind of, like I said, conform. You're maybe holding back your opinion or your truth or some facts only because number one, you don't really feel like rocking the boat because you're just trying to level yourself out. And number two, what would it change? You know what I mean? It's almost as if you feel as if regard what just happened, what, there was a, a mm, yeah, something happened here. For some of you, it was a loss of a loved one. For others of you, it's a loss of a relationship. And uh, yeah, um, but what they didn't learn you feel like they didn't learn. You feel like they didn't never, they never knew you. They never knew you at all. And it took years for what, or for you to realize that it wasn't this or that or that or this. It was like, they really never understood you or believed you. Okay. Where is this coming from? Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I told you, slowly but surely, the truth came out. 
Uh, Knight of Pentacles is my turtle with hemorrhoids. It's a very slow energy, but it's true to form. He coming. Best believe it. Okay. Um, so it took some time. I'm telling you, this was time here. This connection or whatever this uh, job, uh, this family member, whatever this was, you were tied to, you were tied down to for some time. You were obligated to for some time. But during that time, the what you learned is like immeasurable or invaluable. You know, it's priceless. What the information and knowledge that you gained when you slowed down, priceless. Okay, priceless. So you got this sort of truth here that God gave you that give you clarity, to give you understanding, and to cut you from toxic ties. But in the process of doing that, to be honest, you didn't realize how much of your connections were toxic. It was like, wow, one day you woke up like, damn, who am I going to call? <laughs> you know, so it, it, that's where you get in the six of pentacles here. Like, uh, like I'm good, but I'm not great. You know, so you start manifesting and uh, working on yourself so that you can create uh, or pull down from this four of wands here, this balance, the celebratory energy of life, you know, of new life and opp new opportunities, new connections, things like that. <coughs> Excuse me, Gemini. Hopefully I'm on the last bit of this little um, coal here, but good Lord, it's been a run. Future energy, future energy, the moon reverse again. Re reveals clarity, um, things hidden come into the light, uh, things unknown are now known, you know, Piscean energy here with this moon, Scorpion as well, uh, here's another Scorpio here with this tower, um, I was going to say I'm smelling a Scorpio uh, heavier than the Pisces with this moon, you may be, uh, have a Scorpio in your chart, or this revelation happened in Scorpio's moon, I think that was like September, if I'm not mistaken, September, October, you would have to, if you're into that, you would have to look into that. Um, but something happened during Scorpio's moon. Um, yeah, that's when this tower fell. All right. But what's behind the tower? Two of swords. So we're operating in your energy. You didn't want to face this. You didn't want to see it. You didn't want to admit it, acknowledge it, agree with it, whatever it was. Okay. So you came to some realization about maybe uh, somebody you had faith in and they let you down. A job you had faith in and they let you down, you know, or even in realizations about yourself, whatever it was, it made you take some time out to really reflect on now the whole of the situation. OK, now we need to look at this whole. Let's look at the big picture. Let me really think this through. OK, when you did that, it made you independently um, power up. You know what I mean? Uh, the King of Wands is an extremely independent energy, the King and the Queen, all right? However, their marriage material, they don't mind running their kingdom alone. So you kind of like started taking um, charge of your life, okay? That's what happened. After you thought this through, you started taking charge and said, let me work on what's value to me, what's abundance to me, be it finances, be it family, uh, be it uh, security, investments, whatever this Ten of Pentacles means to you, okay? That's what you started focusing on, all right? Because if I have to sit here, I'm going to sit pretty. That's what you said, all right? It's all right. You got your emotions under control. You mastered your emotion. Damn, that smell. That smells like a cancer. Um, this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I ain't gonna lie. <sighs> Heavy cancer here uh, with this King of Cups. You may be connected to a cancer or, yeah, I want to say it like that. Uh, for some of you, you're emotionally tied to a cancer. Heavy, 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 heavy. And it feels like twin energy. And I know the King of Cups and uh, the King of uh, Wands is not twins, but damn, this smells like twin energy. But 
uh, this connection here, I don't know if that's part of your abundance, but it's definitely significant in your life because it's a past life connection, Six of Cups. Okay. Now, even though now um, hmm, you're mastering your emotions for some of you, other of you, others of you, like I said, you have this ties with the cancer. Either way, how you look at this, uh, with the Six of Cups comes balance. You're learning to balance these things out, balance out your passions, your life, your ups, your downs, things like that with the Six of Cups. This is uh, past life connections, but it's still a forward moving energy because that's the direction that you're trying to go in because you feel like you're fighting against the world. All right. With this five of wands. Now, in the middle of this five of wands energy, you have one, you feel like everybody um, either against you or misunderstanding you or you feel like you wasted your time. You also now have to battle with your development of life. So your... Mm, Six-year-old, your 14-year-old, your 16, 18, and 27 um, stages in your life where things may have been happening or something like that. Um, those are different representations of you that you're now trying to juggle, uh, energies of you you're not trying to juggle into balance because even they're still part of your life. You understand what I'm saying? That you is still a part of you. You just went through a cycle. You've grown from it. You kept living. You kept learning, things like that. But that's still a part of your life. <coughs> Excuse me. And your development. So you're looking for new ways to create um, wholeness and happiness. Let me say that again. Looking for new ways to create wholeness in happiness okay not a piece here not a piece there not this not that sometimes or this on tuesday and thursday and that on wednesday and friday no a wholeness in happiness and that's what you want nine of cups how can i be complete without depending on somebody else or something else you know nine of cups energy um, is one away from bliss. It's like, I have everything except that one thing, but um, I'm good either way. This is also a selfish energy. It can be. I ain't gonna lie because we talk in Gemini. So you might be a little selfish with your emotions right now, but that's because you feel like you have to protect them. Seven of Wands. You got to keep your guard up, you know, because it seems like when things come in, they come in fast. Eight of Wands. So you got to stay on ready because you feel like at any moment, any moment, um, anything can happen. Any moment, anything can happen. This can also speak to some travel here, Eight of Wands energy um, that you may be considering. It doesn't feel like um, something big, maybe a weekend here or a weekend there, something like that, something small. Yeah, something small. Um, and you feel like this weekend is going to help you dodge a bullet. Like, I don't know, something's supposed to happen or somebody coming over. You just don't want to be bothered. So you're just going to be like, I'm out of town. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. It works. Six of Wands here. Um, and you're recognized for your maturity and how you handle it. Uh, Six of Wands is a celebratory energy, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this is the parade after the battle. You know what I mean? After the mastering, after the accomplishing, um, things like that. You are recognized, you know, um, and you celebrate that. You celebrate that energy, that new passion of life with the Knight of Wands because you deserve it with justice and you want to be happy with the sun, you know? All right, Gemini, I hope this helps my love. Woo. Um, I want you to focus right now on optimism. Okay, because uh, this energy is, it can go either way with the Six of Pentacles. If you wallow too much in um what you don't have or what somebody doesn't understand or don't see about you, you can kind of get lost in that. And I don't want that to turn into a moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, focus on the positive, focus on what you do have, what they did, what you did get out of the connection. You know what I mean? Um, and just take that 
into your tomorrows, okay? I hope this helps. If any event, none of this resonates for you guys, it's okay. Check out your moon or rising signs, but please don't take this energy with you if it's not yours. Leave it for another Gemini, all right? Thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, um, notified of future readings, and collectively remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.